Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Donald Stucky here again. You know, I was sitting down thinking about the past week with the mayor and the city council, and I just wanted to comment a little bit on the city council. You know, one of the biggest problems that I've seen with the city council is they have no guts. And you know that old saying, no guts, no glory. And then, at the end of the week, yeah, I was members of the city council complaining about, hey, Mayor has too much power when you start doing this, that, and the other. Well, I say, why don't you do that earlier? There's a number of things that the city council can do to, in fact, stop the mayor from doing these illegal activities. One, they can vote down these city contracts. They can put holes on these city contracts. They can put certain uh, certain requirements, uh, money requirements in the budget or attaching strings to certain, certain um, items in the budget. They can pass legislation and if the mayor vetoes it, they can of course override it with a two-third vote. Or they could bring those issues to the citizen by simply voting on those items and putting them directly on the uh, next election ballot as a proposal. So there's a lot of things that they can do. It's just that there's been a lack of political will or they just don't understand. There's several members of the city council that have been on there for a while that could have done something about this. Kenneth Cockrell and, Bo and Barbara Rose Collins. And Barbara Rose Collins, who was a former member of the U.S. Congress for the 13th Congressional District, I think that out of anybody on the council, she should know how to do some of these things. And it's a shame that she hasn't done them. Hopefully in the future, City Council will get their act together.